This is Pitcher, Oklahoma, the most toxic town in America, poisoned by over a hundred years of lead mining that contaminated the water, poisoned generations of kids, swallowed homes with sinkholes, and was fully evacuated when a tornado hit in 2008. Now it's a toxic ghost town with mountains of poisonous soil left behind, abandoned homes, and toxic red water. But who is responsible for this mess? What happened to the people that lived here? And can this town be safe? I met up with environmental scientist Robert Nair to find out. What is in this chat pile? When they mined the ore from underground and brought it up, it's got elevated concentrations of zinc and lead and cadmium, unabated flows of water coming out of the mines, lots of waste material in the stream channel itself. And what sort of effects might that have on the average person? The, the lead can lead to developmental abnormalities, developmental disabilities in young children, especially those younger than the age of six that have uh, the developing uh, nervous system. How are these kids getting lead in their brains? So considering we've got these big piles of material, uh, sometimes literally in the, you know, in the backyard. That material would be brought into the homes and into the yard, so uh, could be on the boots of the, the parents that are coming into the house, gets into the carpet, kids playing on the carpet, putting toys in his mouth. But that ingestion pathway was really the major risk driver uh, for children. The material does move. Folks here are very proud. They mined the lead and the zinc that won the First and Second World Wars. This was incredibly economically important uh, for the United States. Unfortunately, the folks that came in here and mined didn't have the responsibility for the cleanup. Rules and those laws didn't exist. And they left the mess when they were all done. It's gonna take decades to clean this place up. This water has elevated concentrations of iron, zinc, lead, cadmium, arsenic, sulfate, nickel, a whole suite of geologically produced contaminants. When the water comes out of the ground, it has these dissolved metals in it. Is this the type of water people were drinking before the 70s? Since I don't know about the color, Got it. Uh, but it elevated concentrations of the metals. After seeing the toxic water, I wanted to see what remained of this once great mining town and if anyone still lived here. We're gonna cross the street here real quick and check out this building. Keep out. I'm gonna go in, another keep out, and then boom, overgrown shrubbery. Oh my God, fully overgrown entrance. It's almost magical how cool this looks though. Okay, we have another keep out. Oh. Interesting. All these broken doors. Not sure if anyone lives here anymore. Someone must though. Hello? Feels like playing Russian roulette every time you enter a building like this. I would imagine a lot of these places have been looted already. It really does feel and look like a ghost town out here. <laughs> Bird came out of nowhere. Nothing. Hello? I don't think anyone's in there. Disheveled, crumbled building. Hello? There's probably a likelihood this wall could collapse at me at any given moment. Look at this. Hello? I'm definitely kind of scared shitless right now. Okay, this place appears to be fully abandoned. But yeah, it's just spooky. Okay, there's literally trash everywhere. This is legitimately scary. That is definitely the disease powder right there. I want to get the F out of here. This place is fully abandoned. I got no clue what that sound is, but it's scaring the shit out of me. Sleeping bag right here. I'm sure some homeless people squat in here on occasion. There's a belt. Maybe some BDSM stuff went down. This looks more like tornado damage. Granted, I really don't know. Hello? Hello? Oh, hell no. I do not like it at all. We got satanic symbolism right here. I do not like what this is. Fake vandalism. This says, help, welcome to hell. And of course, penis. You can't vandalize without adding a penis. Hello? Danger off limits, police working dog area. Another keep out. Look at how red that water is. It's likely there are some toxic metals in here. We are in the affected zone. I'm a little bit curious if someone just walked through here and just burned everything down because there's a lot of fire damage completely burned down house, and who do I see right in the center? Clinton. This alone is probably the creepiest thing I've spotted out. This stuff can probably collapse at any point, by the way. Keep in mind the risk I'm taking for y'all. Walk out this pathway back onto the main road. Hi there, hello. I guess no one's there. And after exploring literally every building of what remained of this town, I finally found someone that lived here. Okay, I see a dude. 
I'm gonna say what's up. You guys live here? Really? Okay. I've been walking around here. Is this place fully abandoned? I was making a little documentary, actually. You guys are the first souls I've seen. There's still, I think, 13 people on them. They live here? Yeah. I saw like 10 trucks, but no one, I've knocked on every single door and no wow. one has said anything. Yeah. It's, it's a tribe. lot of tribal business. Oh, it's yes. tribal. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to say hello? Hi. You guys used to live here? Uh, so I didn't live here. My family grew up here a lot. Um, but I, I just, I work for Coapa Nation. Okay. And they're basically the ones that are handling all the cleanup. Apparently, the original Native Americans that had had this land taken from them got it back and is now responsible for cleaning up this mess. So I got in the car and wanted to see the cleanup in action. We're driving through this mound of chat. So this guy's like, what the F are you doing out here? He's not gonna stop us. This guy's chasing us right now. I don't know. We probably should peel out of here. Excavator guy back there pulls it in, places it inside a truck, and then truckload by truckload, they're getting all this chat out of here. And after seeing the cleanup process up close, I could only wonder what it was like to live next to this toxic soup for years. So I met up with Willie and Carrie, former teachers and residents who lived in Pitcher before the town was abandoned. Okay, so Willie, Carrie, how long did you guys live here? Um, I lived here, let's see, from the time I was nine to 18, left to go to college. This is your hometown, would you say? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. When I tell people they where, where they ask me where you're from, I tell them picture, and sometimes they look at me kind of funny, and I said, yeah, I know it's not there anymore. Anyway, there were houses all through here, several homes. Your childhood home, what happened to it? Tornado took it out. Mm. How many people lost their homes to the tornado? Oh, gosh. Six people were killed, but I don't know how many people lost their homes. Other schools were not coming to town anymore because a fear of thinking Sinkhole. that the highways weren't safe and different things and right. this is Willie's house. Yeah, front porch is still there. So yeah, this was this was the driveway, that was the step, the my room was right there. Oh. And what did it look like after the tornado? Yeah. This? Yeah, it was gone. Whoa. Yeah. From my understanding, kids would use these like little beaches, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's this one right here. This I wanted to drive my Jeep to try to get up there. Um, but this <laughs> was the best sledding. When it snowed, we would hike up that thing and throw our sleds down and a lot of shenanigans went on. There's kids that got settlements from their lead levels. When they turned 18, they just got lump sums of money. Didn't have nothing to do with their health at that point. It was just a payoff, really. Sure. That red was not here when I grew up. Yeah, that's that's not, no, I but know. It's that, distinct, right? You can't forget this. Oh, one. no, uh -uh. Yeah. but I, I fished in this. I mean, we didn't eat the fish, but we caught all kinds of fish in yeah. here. Yeah, this is where we hung out. Okay, man. that's a little spooky. Were the fear of sinkholes valid in any way? Occasionally, there would be like a little sink in and sometimes there were big ones. So growing up as a kid, did you even realize what these chat mounds were? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We all understood what they were. But yeah, we used to ride motorcycles, four wheelers, three wheelers, or bicycles. You guys think it looks worse than what you guys remember years oh, absolutely, ago? Absolutely, yeah. Since it's all grown up, nasty. Right, right there. there. That, uh -huh. that, that would be, uh, I think that would be a mine shaft that's right a mine there. Shaft, yeah. Like, but uh, that's not, yeah, but the, the cave in is right back there. See where the, the, the chain link fence? Hole. Oh, okay. This is what caused the, uh, the exodus. Yes. And as we drove around town, Willie saw the house of his old buddy John, who refused to sell his house once the town was abandoned and the government tried to buy out the remaining properties of the few residents that still lived here. You grew up here? Yes. Okay. Were you here when everyone left? Yes. Were you here when the tornado hit? Yes. Anything you'd like to get out there? Any thoughts on this place? I, I stay here. I love it. I loved it before. Oh, it's Jeffrey. Oh, there you go. Jeffrey. You think this place got a bad rep? We always got a bad rep. Yeah. So did they offer to buy your property here? No, I didn't give them the opportunity. Okay. Well, did you and get... then they were going around telling everybody that they weren't going to have electric and water and all this stuff. Do you have electric and water? <laughs> Ow. Well, it comes through pumps. Okay. In a well. <laughs> sure. Up. Is it lead water, though? <laughs> Hell no. No? What's lead water? I don't know, just contaminated water. I'm trying to understand, because you're one of the last of the Mohicans I feel like out here, right? Right. So do people think the situation here was much worse than so it actually is? read this in a book and then you just show up and ask questions? Exactly. But I'm here to ask you. You really need to research. Well, I've done research. With all due respect to John, he seemed to be a little bit defensive towards his home regardless of the facts. Willie explained it best. That attitude that you just saw right there is, is that's what I'm talking about, picture pride. I just know the spirit of the people and what it took away from our family. Yeah. This was our school and our place to work and they took that from us. So that's why we feel compelled to do things like this because the spirit of these people is hard to explain and most people don't get it unless you were a part of it. Could 
life still be happening here in pitcher safely? Yes. But is that even true? I met back up with Robert to see if this pitcher pride was mere delusion or if there was hope. And it turns out he had spent the last few decades developing a system using things like surface flow wetlands, vertical flow bioreactors, reoxygenation pools, and other things I do not understand to successfully clean the water here. We've seen species richness of fish increase dramatically, the biomass has gone up, the uh, abundance and diversity of fish have increased. So not only chemically have we improved things, but things improved ecologically. So something like this at scale could be a solution? I think so. With water treatment innovation from scientists like Robert, residents with pride like John, and the Quapaw tribe slowly but surely moving to toxic soil, maybe there is hope for Pitcher after all. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description. Last week's winner was this guy, and if you know an interesting person or place whose story would make a good YouTube video, email me their contact info and story at this email. If I use your idea, I'll send you 500 bucks.